everyone, this is going to be the tarot forecast for Aquarius for the month of September 2024. This can apply if you're a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, as well as North Node in Aquarius. Be sure to check out the other signs in case this reading does not resonate. Also, do keep in mind this is a general reading, so not all the messages may resonate. So take whatever applies, leave out the rest. If you'd like to book a reading with me, definitely drop me a message on Facebook or email. The links are in the description box below and I'll get back to you soon. So I'm, I'm going to draw one more card and then we'll start your reading Aquarius. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. We have the Empress in reverse. Then we have the High Priestess in the upright position. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. We have the Seven of Cups in reverse. And we have the Fool card in the upright position. So Aquarius, this month is definitely about taking risks but also at the same time being... Um, how do I say, like being more spiritual in terms of knowing when to wait things out because both the High Priestess and the Fool are showing up in this reading and both are very different energies, like the Fool is about just jumping from a cliff and, um, you know, not worrying about things, not, um, not being overly concerned about what's going to happen. So there's a bit of risk involved with the Fool energy. Uh, like I said, it's um, throwing caution to the wind. Um, even the dog on the card is kind of warning the person not to jump off the cliff but they're still going to do it anyway because they feel like it's all good and sometimes you do need that energy sometimes you do need to just take a leap of faith and see what's out there because sometimes that's that's how the best things happen and you're not a stranger to that energy Aquarius like you are ruled by Uranus your modern ruler is Uranus and that's very much about you know electricity and disruption like the energy of electricity sudden disruptions out of nowhere so you're kind of used to that energy of being unconventional just seeing what happens not being too um you're not that risk averse generally aquarius so that's a familiar energy to you but the high priestess is also showing up in this reading and that is very much about being more spiritually inclined it's more about um this inner knowing that sometimes you have to wait it out. Sometimes you go after what you want, but sometimes you also have to wait it out because you know that it's on its way, whatever you're trying to bring into your life, it's on its way. Uh, so do not rush the process is what this card is telling me. So it's a, it's, an, it's a fine mix between the fool energy and the high priestess energy. Now in the recent past, because I'm seeing the empress in reverse, I feel like this is you in the past, uh, Aquarius, I feel like you may have been in this Empress energy earlier, which was very laid back, very Venusian, you know, just waiting for things to happen. Very passive energy. And um, it may have worked for a while, but I feel like after a point you decided that you just wanted to uh, take a leap of faith, which is why the Fool card is also showing up now. I feel like there was an ending in your life, like a major chapter ended. Because I'm seeing the Ten of Swords as well, that is about endings, but it's also about new beginnings. And it's kind of like rising from the ashes. It's very phoenix-like energy. So there may have been a severe betrayal that you went through, some kind of uh, major setback that you went through, Aquarius, uh, which after which you felt like you wouldn't be able to rise up again, but you have. Uh, and now you're ready to start the new, new journey in your life. There may have been a lot of confusion in your life in the recent past as well because I'm seeing the Seven of Cups show up in this reading in the reverse position. Seven of Cups in the upright position is about confusion. It's about having too many options, not knowing which one's right for you. There are, you know, all the, op all the options or opportunities seem very enticing, alluring. They all seem like the right choice, but there's only one right choice out of all the, you know, options available. And so I feel like this was you in the past where you may have been a little bit confused about which direction to take in your life. Could have been a romantic relationship, could have been a job, could have could be applied to any situation really but the, the point is that there was a lot of confusion around it you were struggling to make a decision uh, but that's not you anymore I feel like now you kind of just want to throw caution to the wind and just jump off the cliff quite literally and just um, take uh, take a risk sometimes uh, the Queen of Swords is showing up in this reading and this was you in the past you may have been very vocal about your needs and requirements Queen of Swords energy is this is the card of Libra but it's the energy of someone who's very, uh, almost to the point of being blunt. Uh, they communicate what they want. Uh, they're very vocal about their needs, their boundaries, what they will and will not accept. Uh, it's almost bordering on mean, uh, which is so unlike Libra energy because they, they like to get along with everybody. But the Queen of Swords is not like that. Uh, she 
mostly focuses on herself which sometimes you need to do aquarius um you are a humanitarian science so sometimes you do end up doing a lot for other people and maybe not look at your own self that much or look after your own self that much so maybe you were in that zone where you had to clear your boundaries you had to clarify your boundaries to other people um, before moving ahead uh, i want to clarify what this high priestess is for aquarius so I'm getting the eight of uh, swords as a clarification in reverse. So I feel like in the and also the seven of um, swords in reverse. So I feel like in the recent past, there may have been someone in your life who was uh, not to be trusted because you can seven seven of swords is uh, the energy of someone who is out to steal, out to take, you know, they, they are not trustworthy at all. They have uh, uh, treacherous energy. They have hidden motives, ulterior motives, you know. Um, definitely someone to be beware of you know uh, there may have been someone like that in your life and you may have because of this person you may have had a couple of self-limiting beliefs like the eight of swords is also showing up which is about that eight of swords is self-limiting beliefs and it's I say it's self-imposed because on this card if this person was to remove the blindfold they would realize they can easily walk out of that the cage that the swords are making around them um, but again it requires you to look at yourself and realize that this is all your own self-talk and you putting limitations on yourself wherein uh, which may have uh, prevented you from making progress or moving forward in life and the the high priestess is now telling you to be very organic when it comes to your approach towards life when it comes to uh, you know attracting what you want in your life so sometimes like I said you need to go out there and make things happen or take the plunge like the like the fool card take a risk but sometimes you have to sit back and watch and let it come to you because that's also part of the process you don't always have to go out there and make things happen sometimes you just know it's coming to you um, I want to clarify this ten of swords for Aquarius okay we have the four of swords here as a clarification so a, a chapter has definitely ended for you like I said this was a major betrayal this felt like um, you had to close out an entire chapter of your life and now you're in contemplative mode four of swords is very much about contemplation it's about um, strategy as well but at the same time it's also about not getting swayed by other people's influences there may be people around you who are trying to advise you about what to do and what not to do and I think like uh, you're in this uh, phase where you just don't want to get influenced by other people you just want to make your own decisions for yourself and that's very healthy I feel like you should do that um, so I feel like this month you're not really making a decision but you're definitely in strategy mode uh, what is this Empress card for Aquarius? What's this Empress card for Aquarius? What's the Empress card? So we have the Three of Wands here as a clarification. So I feel like in the past, like I said, you were in this whole Venusian energy, very passive, laid back. You're kind of letting things come to you. But I feel like now, um, like even the Four of Swords is about contemplation. Even the Three of Wands is about contemplation. But the Three of Wands is more about um, exploring your possibilities out there. It's a it's a positive energy. It's Wands energy. There's a lot of hopefulness with this card. There's a lot of optimism and um, opportunities around you but it's about looking at all of those and seeing how you want to approach this because there are opportunities in front of you Aquarius but you just need to figure out what you want to do with those and if you want to pursue them or not you know uh, what is the overall guidance for Aquarius this month what does Aquarius need to know so we have the king of swords which is you and then we have the hermit card in reverse so yeah uh, September is not the time to be isolated it's definitely a time to go out and socialize the hermit card is coming up in the reverse position so it's definitely not a time to be in seclusion or isolation go out there have fun meet new people I mean you rule the 11th house which is about social networks and connections so you're naturally good at that so just uh, enhance that energy and go meet people I'm also seeing the king of swords here so you're showing up in your reading as yourself Aquarius which is great so definitely be your own authentic self be clear about your boundaries make sure it's known communicate very clearly because again king of swords is about communication which you're naturally good at but sometimes you can um, not communicate because you don't want to hurt other people's feelings like I said you are a humanitarian sign so you don't like uh, hurting other people's feelings but this time I feel like in September you have to be very clear 
because otherwise there can be some people who can drain your energy in the process so that's what i have for you aquarius if you like this reading do give it a thumbs up if you like help my videos stay relevant in the youtube algorithm it also helps motivate me to deliver more content for you my lovely subscribers and if you'd like to book a reading with me definitely drop me a message on facebook or email the links are in the description box and i'll get back to you soon thanks for watching bye thanks a lot for watching guys i'll see you soon bye, -bye.